hello everyone so today in this particular video we are going to discuss about important multiple choice questions to the subject related your insect head segmentation and head orientation on this particular two topics we are going to discuss about different mcqs first question is insect head consists of how many segments the question you can see how many segments are there yes or no so basically what will be the answer answer will be your six okay six but here one confusion may be there generally what happens insect head means broadly that is divided into two segments yes or no those are your prosephalon and your gnathocephalon and each is divided into three segments yes or no huh? okay so answer will be six no doubt but broadly that is two segments or two region you can tell that that is again subdivided into six segments okay don't get confused answer will be your six next question is each of prosephalon and gnathocephalon we already have discussed consist of how many segments i already have told the answer will be your option b that is your three in prosephalon which segment or segments do not bear appendages you see the question is like that it may be a segment or it may be a segments so that may be two segments also yes or no so now coming to this head what happens you see segment wise in case of pro you will discuss first okay pro in pro because the question is prosephalon yes or no it is divided into three yes or no what are those first one is this pre antennary second one is antennary and third one is intercalary so if we think about appendages you see this antennary means definitely your one pair of antenna will be there but in case of pre antennary and intercalary what happens no appendages are there no specific appendages are there which are outgrowth okay so now coming to what will be the answer then your answer will be your both pre antennary and intercalary where they do not bear the appendages so the answer will be your option d both a and c one more thing is there if you see i should not leave that one what are those things suppose i will ask you regarding gnathocephalon that is again divided into three yes or no one is mandibular yes or no another one is maxilla yes or no ha huh? another one is labial segments in mandibular one pair of mandible will be there in maxilla one pair of maxilla will be there in labium lower lip labium will be there yes or no ha huh? lower lip labium will be there okay so this is your gnathocephalon okay do not forget this one next question is in which type of mouth part head is vertical and at right angle to this long axis of the body mouth parts are ventrally placed and projected downward suppose this is the body what the question is telling this is the body and this is the head so mouth part will be this side that means the body axis is making right angle to this mouth part in which type of that is your hypognathus in hypognathus hypo means what below okay hypo means what below okay below the head yes or no huh? below so the answer will be your option a that is your hypognathus question is in which type of mouth part head remains in the same axis to the body and mouth parts are projected forward that means what it is telling body is here and head is here mouth parts will be like this okay mandible and all will be like this this is the compound eye antenna will be there so this is which type that is your pro pro means what your in front pro means what in front okay in front okay so that is your what pro gnathus now coming to in which type of mouth part head orientation is same as that of prognathus mouth parts but are directed back and backward held in between the four legs here what happens what it is telling you see this is the body this is the head here what will happen mouth part will be like this okay in between the four legs four leg mid leg hind leg will be there yes or no it will be in between the not uh, not up to this okay not up to this this huh? okay up to the four legs it will come okay so this is what your which type opistognathus that means opista means what that is your behind yes or no huh? behind 
okay behind it will come yes or no huh so this is what your opisthognathus or opisthorhynchus type of mouth parts suppose we'll discuss about the example in hypognathus which one will come your grasshopper will come yes or no your cockroaches will come suppose uh, this uh, larval lepidoptera they also have this hypognathus type of mouth parts yes or no huh? these are the hypognathus then prognathus which one will come your coleoptera will come yes or no grass of coleoptera will come yes or no huh? that is your prognathus opisthognathus which one will come this box will come box mosquito they will come under the sucking type huh? opisthognathus will come under that okay you should remember the example also then what are the meanings of hypo pro and opis i already have told hypo means what below pro means what in front opis means what behind so option a will be your right answer yes or no hypognathus is also known as which example i have told grasshopper so definitely that will be your which will order orthopteroid yes or no so the answer will be your hypognathus is also known as orthopteroid type of mouth parts then coming to the next then, question prognathus is also known as which type of mouth part that is coleoptera beetles yes or no so the type will be your coleoptera type no confusion yes or no then is opisthognathus is also known as which type of mouth parts that is your opisthorhynchus yes or no huh? otherwise you see opisthorhynchus i already have told one more thing is there you see hemipteroid yes or no what is the example of opisthognathus box box belongs to which order hemiptera yes or no so that is also hemipteroid type of mouth parts both a and b so the answer will be your option d that is your both a and b yes or no hmm? answer will be your both a and b okay clear yes or no huh? these are your very important questions from the portion like head segments and your orientation of the head okay so i am trying my best to complete all of these things one by one one by one uh, so that in this fe1 course i will complete uh, both the theoretical portion uh, then this mcqs and if time prevails i will try to do the practical things also by the meaning uh, by means of videos so that we can understand all of those things and uh, if any kind of suggestion is there i always appreciate i always welcome if any kind of suggestion is there you please give it in the comment box okay so thank you for watching have a nice day